Okay, guys, um, we are back with example four, and I do have Desmos pulled up over to the side. I've already graphed this function, and I'm going to work this algebraically. We'll compare it to the graph. So if you notice whenever I keyed it in Desmos, because of it being a fraction, I put the numerator in parentheses, hit the division bar, and then I keyed in the denominator. So this is what the graph of a rational function looks like. Um, and then, like I said, we'll come back to this after we solve this algebraically. So the first thing we want to do is we want to factor. I see that this can be AC. So I'm just going to write AC. And again, for time purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and factor that out for you. So it's going to be X plus 5 times 5X minus 1 once you do AC. So you would need to do that on your own. Here I see that there's a GCF. So I'm going to factor that out. That leaves me with a difference of squares. So we're going to have 2 times x plus 5, x minus 5. So now everything's in factored form. And we can start thinking about answering all the different questions. So it wants to know the restrictions. So if we look at our denominator, I see that x could not equal negative 5, because that would make this be 0. And x could not equal positive 5. Okay. So that takes care of the restrictions. Remember, your points of discontinuity are going to be your restrictions. So removable is the ones that you're going to cross out. So if we go back up here and we look, um, we've got an x plus 5 and an x plus 5 that we can cross out. So this is going to simplify to 5x minus 1 over 2 times x minus 5. So the one that I crossed out was x plus 5. So you're going to set that equal to 0. And you're going to solve it. So you would subtract your 5. And x equals negative 5 is going to be your removable point of discontinuity. And remember, removable is the whole in the graph. The non-removable is the um, factor in the denominator you did not cross out. We're not going to worry about this 2 because it doesn't have a variable with it. So the one we did not cross out was x minus 5. So we would set that equal to 0, add your 5. And remember, this is going to be um, the asymptote, the non-removable. So for our domain, we're going to use our restriction. If you need to do that number line, you can. But you're going to start at negative infinity. We're going to go up to negative 5. And negative 5 to positive 5. And 5 to infinity for your domain. Okay, so for your vertical asymptote, that's going to be the same as your non-removable. So x equals 5, and I'm just going to draw an arrow here for you. Horizontal comes from the chart, so I'm just going to write chart out here for you. So the horizontal, remember, is small over big, big over small, same over same. So if we look at this, you want to look at your original function. The degree of the numerator is 2, the degree of the denominator is 2. So this is same over same on the chart. So we take those leading coefficients. So that's going to be y equals 5 halves. And as a um, decimal, that would be y equals 2.5. That might help us just a little bit when we look at the graph in just a second. And then it says sketch the graph. I'm just going to put use Desmos here. So now let's go over to Desmos and let's verify everything. So it says we should have a hole in the graph at x equals negative 5. So if I come to negative 5 and I click on this point, do you see how it forms a hole there and says undefined? But if I drag it here at negative 4.6, you see how my y value is 1.25 and the, there's a, um, the circle's filled in. But come back here to 5, see how it's an open circle? That's what the hole means in the graph. If you were graphing this by hand, you would literally draw a hole there in the graph. It says that we should have a vertical asymptote 
at x equals 5. So let's drag the graph over here. And remember, it's this vertical line that our graph gets closer and closer to, but will never touch. So if I zoom way out, you can see it's never going to touch that line x equals 5. It gets really close. Then it says horizontal asymptote should be at 2.5. So that would be here. So it gets really close, but it's never going to touch um, that graph there. So that's how it all is related um, using Desmos and graphing. Since you have that capability, you're not going to have to sketch it by hand. So now let's go kind of do the opposite. We're going to look at the graph and we're going to pull all of this information from the graph and then eventually be able to write our function on example 5. So it's a little hard to see, so I tried to um, show you so that you could see it is scaled by 2's instead of 1's. And the first thing it asks us for is for the removable point of discontinuity. So where is that hole in the graph, right? So right here, if you look, so your function, it is a little hard to see, is basically doing this, okay? And then it comes very close to that y-axis but never touches it. And very close to that x-axis but never touches it. So we do have a hole in the graph right here at negative 4. So you're just going to write x equals negative 4. The vertical asymptote, so vertically it never touches the y-axis. It gets really close, but it never touches. So that's at x equals 0. And then if we hop over here, and usually guys, the asymptotes are drawn with a dashed line. There's another, another vertical asymptote at x equals 4. Okay, so then domain. Let's look at our domain. So our domain is, look at your x values. We're coming from negative infinity, and we come all the way to this negative 4, but then there's a break. So let's go ahead and write negative infinity to negative 4. Negative 4 is going to get a, a parentheses because it's got an open circle. Well, then we start back with our x values, and we continue all the way to 0. So negative 4 to 0, but then it never touches 0. So then I'm going to hop down to this part of the function. So I start back at 0, and I go all the way to 4, but it never touches 4. So 0 to 4, again, parentheses. And then I'm going to hop over this asymptote again, and start back up at 4, and it's going to go to positive infinity. Okay. Again, you could have used your um, points of discontinuity to help you write that, because remember, these are your restrictions for your domain, but I was trying to show you visually as well. So your horizontal asymptote, this comes down and gets really close to the x-axis, but never touches it. This comes up and gets really close, but never touches it. Again, comes down, gets really close. So our horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals 0. And then it says write the equation of the function. Um, <clears throat> so on this, we're going to think about what you removed and what you did not remove. So removable would be the whole. So if the whole was at x minus 4, your factor would have been x plus 4. It has to go on top and bottom because remember we would remove it. That's the one we marked out. Non-removable is your vertical asymptote. Okay, so what we would not have removed in the denominator, x equals 0 as a factor would just be x. And then x equals 4 would be x minus 4 as a factor. So x plus 4, x times x plus 4, x minus 4. 
and you can leave it in factored form. Sorry about that, guys. You can leave it in factored form if you would like. So that's how you would write your equation.